He loves fruits and vegetables. It's clear Sarita and her six-year-old son, Demencio, cherries and blackberries and red berries cherries. are close. Warm and cold. I, okay, that was loud. Say that again, <laughs> but slower. And for that, she's grateful. This little boy is my motivation. Do you see this cute little face? <laughs> to watch my heart and soul walk outside my body. We met them at Rosehaven, a low-key day shelter for struggling moms and kids that once a year goes all out. Raining Roses is a big party and a walk through the shelter's neighborhood in northwest Portland, and it's their only big fundraiser of the year. The other 364 days, staff serve a struggling, sizable group. You know, moms sometimes come into us before the baby is born and if they're experiencing loss of home and they're struggling with abuse issues in their own lives sometimes the actual fact that they're bringing another life into the world will be enough to inspire them Multnomah County's 2017 point in time count found more than a third of Portland's homeless are women. More than 600 of the area's homeless are members of families with small children. Shelters for families in the area are scarce. Your chances of getting help improve if you're fleeing abuse. That's what happened in Sarita's case and Zhao Fang Wan's. Her son Oscar loves to pose for pictures and draw them. The pair has bounced in and out of affordable housing. But I want my kid uh, to have the warm clothes and, and clean clothes. And like as a mother, we feel, I feel like I want something for the kid more important than for myself. So once again, Rose Haven serves moms in all situations, homeless and struggling. And this year, directors have a goal with that fundraiser of uh, raising $150,000. And they're getting close. So if you want to help donate or just join the party on Sunday, we're going to post info on how to do that at KGW.com.